Hello there! Today, I am touring my second island called Mushroom. It is still a huge work in progress. It's very inspired by Breath of the Wild. I only really have three main areas to show so far. And I just want to note that I've made all of this on Twitch. These are just going to be update videos on what I've made so far, so there will be more to come. Start with my map. So we'll talk about my villagers. So I have Marcel who's staying, Winnie's staying, Plucky's staying, Genji's staying, Dobie's staying. And then I'm debating having Gladys stay, Freckles, Hornsby, Phoebe, and Boots. I don't think they're going to be staying. The main areas I'm going to be going over are the uh, bottom left, which is Cockerico Village. To the right, so there's that little isolated house next to that little pond. That's one of my stables. I'm thinking I'm going to have two stables. And then that um, oddly shaped formation in the top middle of my map is my Deku tree, which is my favorite part. So we'll end there. Trust me, it's worth the wait. Okay. <laughs> when you come out of my airport, the first thing you see is the goddess statue, which, I mean, it's an attempt. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing that really looks very similar to it, so I figured that this would be the best option for that, and I have the torches around it. We'll start by going to the left here. This is a little cooking pot area for Link to cook his little mushroom skewers and other miscellaneous food items. This area is so, like, when you put the camera like this, it just looks so beautiful. All the greenery, I love it so much. And this is like the first time I've ever incorporated bamboo into an island. And I'm loving it, especially when you can freeze these little ones here. I love it. When you come down here, there's the three little rocks where you can place apples as you're offering to the Koroks. Um, when I do have a dream address, I'm planning on gifting you apples, so like one of these will be gone, and you can place apples at these various locations throughout my island. Here is Genji's house, so he has a little fishing area and a little fishing pond, which I thought was very Genji. I love that little rabbit, he's so cute, he deserves the best. Next, if we come down here, there's actually a little area for the man that paints in Breath of the Wild, so when you come up to him and ask him about a photo so you can help. Um, locate the memories. This is an, this is supposed to be based off of that. And then this is Dobie's house. He has a little pumpkin farm. I don't think I'll be making a carrot farm. This area definitely screams Dobie to me. I thought he would be perfect for that job. Up there is a work in progress, so we're actually not going to go up that way until I'm fully convinced that I like it, because <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not. Now we're up at Resident Services, which I'm kind of treating like Impa's house in a way. We have this really cool diagonal bridge that leads you to Resident Services, which I'm still working on. You, as you can tell in the background, it is not done. <laughs> but over here is just like various little items like the bamboo noodle slide and some pots. Very peaceful. It actually it's very calming listening to the, the water running. Take a minute. Carrying on. This is Marcel's house. I gave him some little buggies because he loves bugs. He's lazy. I love Marcel. He's probably one of my top three favorite villagers. I love him to death. If you take this path, it just goes up to us in services. You just have to do a little hop. Down there is my house. Now we're kind of getting to like the areas that I'm still working on. My house is going to be an inn. It is not done yet. We'll continue on to the rest of the map. So once you go over this bridge, you're gonna be at the stables. I try my best. This is this is actually really hard to recreate, actually. This is Winnie's house. I thought she would be perfect for one of the stables. The other stable I'm gonna make is Plucky's house. They have very, very similar houses, just different roofs. We have some horses over here and a little apple. And then we got a little pup. Since there's always pups at the stable that you can you can hang out with. If you go to the left here, there's the little cooking pot. 
which again, you can make your little mushroom skewers, as well as there's an axe for you to pick up to use on your journey. This up here is not my idea. This is by Animal Crossing Islander on Instagram, which I will mention in my bio. This is totally their idea with the little sheepies. So it's like a faux, faux fur hat and the sheep hat, and they're kind of facing backwards, so they look like little sheeps. They did it way better than me. <laughs> I think it's the fence I'm using, it just doesn't look right. Here's my little Korok stump with the pinwheel. I'm gonna hide a bunch of these all over my island. I'm gonna make it kind of like a game, as well as I'm gonna have a bunch of Koroks that you have to find as well. So I'll make a list of how many I place, and then you just have to find them all whenever I upload a dream address. But I thought this was super stinking cute. Now, the next part. And the grand finale is my Deku tree. So down here, yeah, see, I'm still still working on this. I have no idea where I'm gonna place my shops. That is a mystery to me. And here is my example of how I'm gonna hide my Koroks. So he's behind this little rock here. This, I'm gonna make, try and make this all lost woods. So I'm gonna have like a really windy path that you can take with a bunch of dead ends probably. With torches for you to follow up into the Deku tree. Alright, this is my favorite part of the island. I think this is, this is my most favorite thing I've ever made in Animal Crossing. It took about five streams to make. There might have been some tears <laughs> from frustration uh, from the simple panels because simple panels just look odd. And they look odd. We'll just go in here. So this is the main, main area of the Korok Forest. This is actually a shovel. Somebody in my Twitch chat recommended using a shovel and then changing the color to make it look like the Master Sword. This is my Deku tree. <laughs> Basically, it's just a bunch of simple panels and tears from me, mostly. They're kind of layered and staggered. You can kind of see. Well, I'll show you. You'll see when we go up the stairs to kind of make it look like more like a tree trunk. But basically, the idea was to make it look like a giant tree and then have that little opening for you to go up into it. Around here is just some various mushroom things and Koroks. There's a stick on that one. I'll have to fix that. Another one over there and a pinwheel. It's gonna be lots of mushrooms here. I'm still kind of decorating it. I just need to take a break from it because it was just so much. Next we'll go up. And yeah, you can see that I staggered the simple panels to kind of make it look rounded when you look at it from the front. But it definitely ruins it when you start walking up the stairs. So this part is probably my favorite part of the Deku tree is the inside. So I, again, worked with simple panels to make it look like you're in the tree still. So you can see behind there's simple panels placed in a very specific way to make it look kind of rounded. Let me see if I can get an angle of that. Yeah, so you can kind of see they're, they're placed in specific ways to make it look like you're in a tree. Here is the little explorer store where you can buy some mushies, and then the little other shop where you can buy other miscellaneous items the Korok sell. And then here's the little bed where you can stay for free to replenish your energy, which I take advantage of a lot. Plus I just love seeing the Koroks. And then we got our little cooking pot here. I am so proud of this area. I don't think I would ever be able to flatten it. It is just so precious and it means so much to me. <laughs> Even though I did maybe have a moment where I had to turn the game off during stream and we switched to Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but yeah, this is all I have so far on Mushroom. Again, I made all of this on Twitch, so if you want to follow me on there, you can actually watch me build all of this stuff in real time. I only really make these YouTube videos to show progress updates because, again, Twitch always will delete my VODs since I'm not a partner. This, was a, this is a really fun island to make though, I'm really having so much fun, and I really love Breath of the Wild so much, so it's just a lot of fun to try and recreate it in Animal Crossing. But yeah, if you stuck around till the end, thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to make more YouTube videos, and thanks so much, I'll see you next time, bye!